Hello there, Nicole Dragasek here. Today we're going to be talking about Google Hangouts. There's just a few things we need before we can get started. First, you want to make sure that you and everyone who's going to participate in the Hangout has a Google account. Many of us in education already have Google accounts through Google Apps for Education. I know at the ESC, we've had our regular email accounts, for example, mine and Dragasek at ESC18.net, converted into Google Apps accounts. If you aren't sure, I can look that up for any of our districts here in Region 18. Just shoot me a message. Next, you're going to need Google Chrome's web browser. Google Chrome is going to give us the best experience when we're dealing with any of Google's applications. You also want to make sure that you're signed into Google's Chrome web browser. This will make sure your account details sync over when we're playing with those applications. Finally, you want to make sure that you have Google App Launcher. Google App Launcher is like a little system tray, kind of like the Start menu, that will give us easy access to any of the Google applications that we install from the Chrome Web Store. If you aren't sure how to do any of these things, no worries, I'll post some instructions below the video. Okay, let's get started looking at Hangouts. The first thing that we want to do is install the Google Hangouts application. I already have opened my Google Chrome Web Browser, which is the little web browser with the green, red, yellow, and blue icon. To get to any Google application, it's always easiest to type whatever the application name is, .google.com. So if I was trying to go to Google Drive, I would go to drive.google.com. To get to Hangouts, I would go to hangouts.google.com. Google will automatically handle any sort of corrections that need to be made to the URL, and it lands me right on the Hangouts page. I want to install the Hangouts app, so I'm going to click the Get Hangouts button. It's going to ask it for what kind of device I would like to install the app. I'm not going to cover installing Hangouts for your mobile device, so we're just going to look at installing it on the computer. This is actually a Google Chrome extension, so it'll pop up and say, would you like to add this to Chrome? And I do, so I'm going to click the Add button. And now it's going to show up in my app launcher. I'm going to go ahead and open Hangouts by clicking on Hangouts from the App Launcher. And it's going to show rotating arrows in a green circle as it starts to load. And then here I can see a list of all of my most recent Hangout conversations. Say that I want to start a video call. I would select the people that I want to invite to my video call. And then I would click Video Call. You may have to click Allow depending on what kind of email addresses you're inviting. And then you'll need to invite them again. Once you're in the video call, the person that you'll see is the person that invited you to participate. Across the top, you have options to invite people, mute the microphone, turn off the webcam, adjust your broadband usage. Within the settings for the call, You'll have the option to change the webcam input, microphone input, and speaker output, and the ability to end the call. Over to the left, you have the option to toggle chat, share your screen, take a snapshot, draw on yourself. The draw application is not a whiteboard application, it's actually for drawing directly onto your face. So Google actually has face tracking technology, so when you start to draw, it'll hold your face still so that you can pull and design right onto your face. There's a variety of pens, stamps, and even text that you can use to decorate your face. And once the drawing is attached to your face, it'll follow your face as you move around during the video call. To clear all of the drawing, you use the trash can within the drawing app. And that's all to participating within a video call. Thank you for joining us.